All right, hello YouTube. Uh, DJM's here from Party Time. Um, hey, I've decided to do a, another uh, review on the Seismic Audio Tremor. Uh, somebody left a comment saying that you couldn't see it very well. And uh, the last video I did, yeah, it was kind of dark. Uh, for some reason, my camera uh, wasn't picking it up very good. So I'm hoping um, this time uh, I can do a video uh, for you. Um, that'll be more uh, better uh, quality um, so uh, you can see uh, what the seismic audio tremor has to offer and what it looks like um, here it is there is the seismic audio tremor and as you can see um, it's got the seismic audio label right on the front uh, it's an 18 inch uh, titanium subwoofer I guess uh, steel uh, frame subwoofer um, I don't really know the specs on it at the moment as far as uh, I think it's got a 3 inch voice coil on it uh, it's 500 watts RMS 1000 watts peak uh, down below is uh, two very decent sized portholes um, as you can see they're not plastic they're just made out of it's just wood um, seismic audio is a company based on uh, musicians that are on a low budget but want to sound good and have worry free troubles uh, for years um, now I've been using I've used it I haven't had it very long uh, I've been using it for about uh, let's see I used it four times already and I gotta tell you it sounds great uh, it puts out a lot of bass uh, low end um, uh, and uh, it's it's very very uh, heavy bass bassy. Um, I'm gonna show you the cab. If I can get my cat off of here, um, it's got a steel pole mount, so you could uh, have a top have your tops. You know, um, you can have a pole in there for your tops um, on the side. It's got, maybe you can see better on this side, steel handles, very, very good steel handles, heavy duty steel handles. Um, the corners have your uh, metal corner brackets, um, carpeted, it's got a little, little bit of, uh, yeah, from me porting it around, of course, it's got a little bit of, um, uh, you know like just uh, little scuffs here but other than that I try to keep it as, uh, as much as possible um, try to keep it uh, clean and everything but it's hard when you're transporting from gig to gig okay back here see if I can do this again here try to get a better light in there there we go okay so up here you have your line in, uh, which is a two top RCA. Uh, they're RCAs. And then you got your line out, so you can daisy chain to another powered subwoofer uh, if you want. I would imagine you could probably um, also daisy chain it to a, a, a passive powered passive speaker. Um, down below here is your uh, volume. Let's see. This right here, see if I can get this here. Okay, this right here is your um, volume out for the subwoofer. And then down here is your uh, crossover dial um, for if you want less bass or more bass, uh, 40 hertz to 300 hertz. Um, oops, right here, and then right here is your clip light, and of course your power light. Over here is your, they call it satellite volume, which actually you can run two, uh, two of your tops off of here, your passive speakers, your non-powered um, speakers. Um, down below here is your balance for light, left and right. Um, right here 
is your um, high pass filter. You have an on and off switch for your high pass. Um, you can either have it low pass or high pass. Uh, down here is where your power cord goes in to. And then over here is where your top speakers would come out your, or your passive speakers, whether you're using 12s, 15s, 10s, whatever. Um, you got your right side and your left side, you got banana clip or speak on. Um, over here is this right here is this is to keep your amp cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, um, but I do know and I do understand from doing um, research on on uh, YouTube and stuff that this is supposed to keep your amp cool because uh, it is not fan. There is no fan in there, um, and it seems to work out pretty well. I use it for four hour gig. I mean, it does get a little warm, but it doesn't get extremely hot. Um, and then right here, it just gives you the the specs. Uh, features um, subwoofer with low pass filter subwoofer output power 500 watts peak uh, two channel speaker output with balance modulation and that is for if you want to um, run these two now you could run this um, you could actually run the subwoofer alone or with two passive speakers <coughs> um, coming out of it uh, and then you got your, and then it also says two channel speaker output power, 500 watts by two. So each channel, left and right, is 500 watts uh, peak, uh, peak power. Uh, so I believe that, you know, it's probably actually only 300 watts RMS for each side. Uh, so if you want to run. Uh, your passive speakers, you know, probably would do like 300 watts or less probably uh, for each side. And I'm actually looking into getting uh, a couple of 15-inch uh, subwoofers. Right now I have CGMs, and I haven't quite. I did run them through. They're only 200 watts RMS, 400 watts peak. Um, so I don't really want to use the my um, CGMs very long uh, through here. Um, so I am looking at getting actually um, seismic audio uh, 15s or 12s uh, to run off of here, um, which I'm going to be ordering soon, hopefully within the next uh, three or four weeks. Um, and of course, it just has the the um, the label there. So there you go. There's the seismic audio tremor. Oh yeah, and you also have your power select uh, 15 to 235 uh, 50 hertz to uh, right now I got it on 115 which is your standard uh, power supply for here in the states um, and of course you've got if you want if you live somewhere else and you got different uh, power uh, power supply uh, power select selection uh, 50 hertz 60 hertz or whatever um, so I guess if you live in England or wherever uh, you can still use this um, this is a great subwoofer for a low cost of $279. I got it free shipping. came right um, from the website. Uh, you can order and everything off the website. Um, they sell speakers, subwoofers, uh, base cabinets. Uh, Seismic Audio uh, was actually mainly created for band members, uh, but they've started to get into a little bit of the DJ stuff. Um, they don't sell, you know, CD players and, and, and uh, mixers and all that. They just sell speakers, mainly amps. Uh, well, they do have uh, two amps on, 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 on the website as of right now. They got the 3000 and the 2000 um, LE, and those are both seismic audio. Uh, they sell snake cables. Um, are snakes, uh, cables, uh, stands. Um, they do sell some like DJ uh, coffins, I guess you can say. Um, but it's mostly it was mostly originally for band members. And I also have face. Um, I also have these guys on Facebook. Um, I think I'm the only DJ that's actually affiliated with the um, with uh, with the Facebook uh, page. 
uh, most of them are bands, and I and I I go on every once in a while, read posts and everything, and and everybody says that Seismic Audio, um, their speakers are excellent. So even if you're not on a low budget, but you don't want to spend a ton of money on speakers, check out Seismic Audio, uh, and they do come with a warranty. Everything comes with a warranty, one year to two year warranty. Uh, I believe this one came with a one year warranty. Uh, but uh, most of their stuff is fairly decent priced. I'm not going to say they're cheap, but they are fairly decent priced. Um, and they do have free shipping on everything, so you don't have to pay for that. They are a company um, based down in Texas, uh, somewhere down in Texas. I don't remember the name of the city um, at the moment, but uh, yeah, and. Um, Everybody there is great. Uh, customer service is great. They always answered any of my questions I had. Um, they sent it out really good, really quick. Um, I ordered it like on a Tuesday, and it was here at my house by Thursday. So it was like, no, it came Friday. So, But they did have a problem because when I was sending them out, they were getting snow uh, at the time, which is very odd for Texas. And they're still having bad weather down there. But... Uh, yeah, and I probably would have got it a day before, but it showed up just enough time for me to do a gig. And um, I tell you, it's great. I used it at the school dance. I don't use it at every gig because I um, uh, a lot of the gigs I do are kind of small, uh, you know. And uh, oh, then and this thing is quite heavy um, now. The Seismic Audio, the website says it weighs 89 pounds. However, FedEx, uh, when it was shipped FedEx, the paper that I received with it, uh, as far as bill, or no, they emailed it to me, and the FedEx uh, shipment uh, weight on it was only 70 pounds. So I don't exactly know how much it weighs. Anywhere between 70 and 89 pounds. Um, it is kind of heavy. I mean, I can lift it, but uh, it it definitely would take two people uh, to get it up and over a stage or uh, if you want to lift it up high into a van or a truck. Uh, so there you go. I only got a few minutes left of this video. Otherwise, I can't post it. So um, I hope you've gotten a better look at this. Um, I'm going to post this in, uh, in here in a few minutes. Let me just do a quick walk around again so you can see it. Seismic audio tremor. There you go. Two ports down in the bottom. And this thing thumps, let me tell you. I was doing a, just a quick. I was, um, both times I've used it, um, I actually have it in front of my DJ booth. I only, I don't put it off to the side because, and actually if I get another one, I'm actually going to put two in front of my DJ booth and uh, have my tops over on the sides. And uh, even with this one right here, I could actually feel the base of coming through the floor where I was standing from behind it. And when you go in the front, you can actually feel the bass. And I I am not lying to any anybody that watches this. I am not lying. I am definitely so, uh, happy with, with the purchase of this. And for two, like, I uh, was uh, checking out some Mackie and a couple other ones, and they were like six $700. But if you want to spend six or $700, buy two of these. Um, you can get two for the same price of one. Mackey and this thing I tell you is great um, it's got a real heavy steel grill on it so I mean you know and it's definitely made great okay so there you go seismic audio tremor uh, check them out uh, even if they're even if, even if you're looking for a pair of uh, cabs for your tops uh, they sell everything from eights to, to 18s um, and of course they sell uh, speaker replacement, horn replacements, uh, they just sell, um, they even sell empty cabs uh, if you have speakers but you want to get better cabs. Um, the cabs are great. Oh, and it does come with rubber feet on the bottom. So there you go. Seismic Audio. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to sign out and uh, practice and enjoy.